right, what's up, nerds? It's round four. I'm undefeated. I have one loss. So this match actually matters for him in terms of points. It's four rounds. Uh, I'm on the play with a mulligan at six. Pass turn. Not a hard of the cards, moment. That is totally fine. Tell the truth. We will play a Cavern Souls on Merfolk. It's not. Pass the turn. Pass. No turn one play. Yeah. No turn one play. Pass. Hands a little weird. Jesus. Okay. Hands a little weird. Um, we're going to start with a Cures follower. Pass. I think I just killed that now. Yeah. Ow. There's a case there. There is a showcase there. Yeah. Let's play a Trespasser and eat it. Okay. So I didn't want to pass the turn. I'm not used to writing down 21 because it's usually like a turn <laughs> I don't even care at this point. Look, I'm going, I'm going okay. to row, row four here. <laughs> try, to make the, try to make the best out of it. Deeper Pokemon. <clears throat> Passer. I would love to have a Murpho with that, you know. Attack for three. I will take three. Go to 16. Let's go, Goldblank. Discard two cards. Draw three. Yeah. Fishing for a land. Well, I mean, we just talked about this table's the curse. I know. <laughs> and I gotta say, fishing because, you know, yeah. you're playing Murphle. Oh, he hit it. Uh, yes. I hit all three of them. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so you're flooding this game. Yes. Got it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I did. I went from not having one in hand to having three in hand. Yes. Yep. Yep. Uh, I think the best thing I can do is tap three. Yep. Play a nameless. I set another nameless. Didn't I will get a. I could have played this one. Likelihood of getting. Feel. 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 Oh, uh, what is Man Valley 3? Yeah. Uh, eat it and attack. Yep. Put you to 15, then to 12. And B to 19. Drop 3. So this time, if you resolve, waste not when you discard something. I get so really And that puts me to 13. Oh no, so that puts me to 16. Yeah. Uh, pass. Are the cards? Not quite. Uh, I will pay two. I'll play a. Hmm. I don't think that's a card. I we'll play a deep root. I will then pay and explore a uh, map hit. Mm -hmm. So explore deep root pilgrimage. Uh, I think I bet. Okay. And then I'll pass turn. Good point. Usually when you do that, uh, yes, because it was not on land. But yeah. draw. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 So cool, black, great timing. Black, black, black one. So lose two. Uh, yeah. Draw one. Okay. Done 18. My lives. Eat the deep root. Pass. Which one? There's three yeah. deep roots. There's the the creature. <laughs> okay. The creature. So there's an elite up and two pilgrimages. Uh, what am I at? Did I? I don't think I wrote down to the avarice. Yeah, so I was at 13 from the avarice, right? I don't think no. I wrote that what, down. What else would dealt you three damage? Did you use castle or something? No. Because I had you at 18, you gained the one from the other trespasser, then you avarice and took three. But I have two avarices. I've seen 10 lands. But your first one took you from 21 to 18. Oh, okay. So I should get 17. Okay. Yes, there's too many life total changes. Um, and then I have you at, at nine from the trigger, and then six. Yes. yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I believe I played a land already, so I. Do you have another avarice? Of course, it's too late. Um, yeah, you got it. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't have the avarice, but I had two shieldreds that I just never had a good opportunity to so, play. That was bad. So this was more or less like my opening hand. Sure. 
I had the combo. I'm like, I got to go for it. Then I got another follower. I'm like, oh, I can play a bait one. And then I didn't hit the land, so I could actually drop them on one yeah. turn and makes it be like, do it. And you have to invoke out. I'm like, well, I just... Yeah, I basically have to ramp into the invoke. Which happens really well when you're flooded. Yeah. I, so it was, though. I had three lands, and I didn't have the fourth to play Shieldred on turn four. So yeah. I was like, well, I might as well just Avarice, and I drew Swamp, Field, Field, or whatever it was. It's like... Okay, cool, cool. I guess I should probably sideboard against you. I do have sideboards. So I made a comment last week that you had played a hex catcher yeah. and attacked, and it was like gonna be lethal, and I ruined the vibe. Yeah. Hex catcher. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, you really need to protect it. And I don't think the person realized that long goodbye can't be countered. <laughs> You deal damage to me. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have been able to do anything about, like yeah. remove it, but I. Nope. Yeah. Look, I had a blossoming defense or a Tamiya, so that would have been perfect, but... I think I want to try this as the sideboard this time. I'll take those out for sure. One of those. And one of those. I think that's good. Is that all the same? Okay. I end up going 61 more often in this deck than I would normally have thought. But it's just because it's so stupidly hard to find anything I want to or could cut. Every card is an opportunity. Hmm? Every card is an opportunity. Yeah. It sounds like some inspirational quote in the back of the token. It sounds like what the person who doesn't explore or surveil the thing that from the top of their library to the end of the graveyard mm -hmm. is saying. But <laughs> How do you reprints all your favorite deck master cards? Uh, it seems like every card, that, that would be one of those things yeah. on the back. Yeah. Token cards. And of course the card that it would probably show or the picture would be a Dreadmaw. Uh, sorry, you should It's very instance of Okay. Yeah. So you still you did one. Yep. Play first, I assume. Yes. Good luck. You too. Good luck is always a weird one for me because it's like you don't really want your opponent to have good luck. It's called sportsmanship. Yes. I'm not sports. This, this is magic gathering. This is not a. It's silly sportsmanship. Um, I'm, I'm just all of this. I guess I will do. It's silly because I pretty much know what you're going to probably so do in your first few turns. Two. So, so no, I could throw you for a loop. I'm hoping so. Yeah, I'm running Jank Buster. So you separate. Yes. Turn two, Jank Buster. Turn three, Lord Skitterfang. Attack, crew attack. It's a good combo. Actually, the best way to do this, I'm going to do your lands in one. That's the way to do it. Go ahead, just ultimate 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 Thought sneeze. Yeah. If oh. I did not have expert, this deck would not exist. <laughs> no. This is why it was a dangerous hand. Oh, yeah. I mean, the copter is really good, too. Um, I think I have to take Pilgrimage. Okay. Because I can't deal with it if it resolves. Um, 18. Do you want me to write it down? No, you're good. Okay. Um, that has a counter. Oh, yes. yes, yes. And then pass. I'm, that's the one thing about this deck. I'm somehow really bad at keeping track of the explore. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, another Sanctum. Tap two. Copter. For the Copter. We'll hit you for two. And then pass on. Correct. Okay. Uh, 
Pass. Well, I mean, your normal deck works, though. It works once. Yeah. Try. Okay, okay. Um, I still land for sure. Two men. River Sneak. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Crew. Mm -hmm. yeah. Move towards combat. Mm -hmm. Attack. Uh, mm -hmm. Trigger. I'm going to draw a card to the card. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, the way is away uh, and yes, it will be five. Go good. to eleven. <coughs> been able to do up any of rounds here. Faster. No, hasn't been out of the car. It's actually like go very far. Um, it doesn't feel great, but let's pass the barrel nearby and then pass. Sadly, no. I am glad. Raptor is hard to get rid of. Right. <laughs> the evasiveness of it is what makes it so strong. Draw for turn. Okay. Okay. Yeah, half an hour to an hour. Two mana. Deep root mm -hmm. Crew copter. Mm -hmm. Go combat swing copter. I will draw a card. And I will, I will discard a rapid hybridization. Uh, and you'll take three. Yep. And I will then play island for turn. Tap two and play a bitch. I've reassembled <laughs> the past turn. Thought sees a bug. To be fair, it wasn't the next card. It was like five down. Pass. Well, there's a Trick. Eight. Yes. I will pay two. That's good to know. Play it's, it's <laughs> one, two, I will yeah. crew you know, and make a one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I get a one one counter on a Murphy. We will put it on that one one. Sure. Sure. Uh, I will go to combat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Attack with the three three. No, not going to draw and discard. Yep. Go to five. Uh, and then I will pass the turn. Go to six. Yeah. At least right now, shielded for you is a net gain. Eat a creature of some kind. So no test go, it's the only one. Okay. Right. 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 One is one. Here's 17. Let's back that one. Uh, and it is daytime, and I will pass the turn. On your end step, I'll crew and make another merfolk. The one time I have used that for not the reason I've been. So I'm going to keep him back because he, he's just crewing. So we'll go ahead and start crew. Make a 1-1. One, one. Not going to get through that no matter what. Oh yeah, never mind. I can't. I'll put the one on here. And then we will crew. Make another 1-1. One, one. We'll put another 1-1 one, one counter here. Mm -hmm. So now it's a 5-5 five, five because of mm -hmm. next catcher. Alright, how are we on the play? Uh, we will go to combat. Mm -hmm. And we'll swing 5, 8 total. Uh, and trigger, I will draw a card. And I will discard a Bark Channel Pathway. So you should be at 13, right? Uh, yeah, I guess, yeah. I keep forgetting that I am taking damage from that. I should probably stop doing that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so there's this kind of thing. Yeah. And take a 3, go to 5. <laughs> And then pass her. Cast a spell or uh, just tap stuff? I just tap did stuff. not cast a spell. I just tapped stuff. Someday I'll not draw another land. Yeah, I think so. See, you're flooding today. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the curse. Okay, it's already in the head. <laughs> okay. Here you go. <laughs> yep. Does this include if I do damage myself? Yes. So if, okay. I, so if I have one blocker for the largest, it's one, two, three, four. Well, actually, that's yeah, it's lethal. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I say that the only real I question. I drew three was shieldreds and all lands. <laughs> The only real question I was having was, is, did you have a like a wipe that was cheap enough that you could cast it and pay through the counters? Yeah. So I'm like, uh, that's basically no, I couldn't find any single targeted removal that whole time. That was like the, so like not not to like say you played it incorrectly, but 
like crewing the smuggler's copter into fatal push mana is like <laughs> but there's, there's but, but you know I don't have it because I never do. But there's also a point where I have to commit because if yeah. I if I wait, just the, the fact that the timer of Shieldred is just game ending. Yeah. So it's one of those things where I'm like, this is a matchup where I am pedal to the metal unless I absolutely have to be avoiding something like if I if I crew it I lose my combo or something like that. Yep. That or yeah. you know. Otherwise, I gotta try to get my value when I can. Yeah, I mean, it worked for you. Right. It's in your mind. Because the other thing, too, is you'll just keep that, that mana it's open. Very <sighs> if I don't crew it because you have the Fatal Push mana. Okay. I mean, true, but I also keep it open if I don't have it. Right, right. Well, I'm just, what I'm just saying is that if I hadn't crewed it, you'd be like, oh, he took the bait. I'll keep, keep the mana open. So. <laughs> Well, maybe I'll actually have a seven card. Uh, oh, wait. That'd be wild. Here's a chance. Let's see what happens. They kind of understood the cards in jail. I mean, you want to last turn? Right. Because you get to upkeep that though, right? Upright. So and I'm assuming you'll be on the play. Okay. The next set. When is it? Yeah. Or what is it? It comes out. Trying to reach Cemetery. Okay. For the release for. It is. Jesus. I have two lands and they're both talking to me. That's why I took Besage, the second Besage out of the deck. I just put it in because it's like so often that. No, not really. I'm keeping it. I don't know. I don't want to run 24, but I don't want to run 25. So I thought two Takanuma is, is kind of like half a land. Yep. Until the one game you get both. I, apparently I'm not going to keep a, a seven card hand against you ever. And on the play it's even worse. <laughs> to be fair, you, you draw enough as it is. <laughs> you draw like half your deck every time we play. <laughs> okay. It happened once. I saw it. You got me. I also had the Cinder Vines which oh, nice. kind of works. Oh, what does Cinder Vines again specifically? Whatever yeah, opponent casts a non creature spell. Oh, that's right. Just, 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 just play Rural Power. <laughs> like, I, he was in sideboard for a couple of decks I was looking at. What's he cost? Uh, uh, he, oh, mana wise, like six, I think. So yeah, it's hot top end, but it's yeah. five. Swamp. Or is it six of base? For, for me, really, the, the, the pings are not that much. It's if they have nine lives, then I'm yep. them. Yeah. So the, the instance of... Tap for green. Our favorite game. Cenote Scout. <laughs> and I will explore. Hex Country. We'll go ahead and leave that there and put a counter here. I've, I've won with that combo once. I gave it. Someone yes. got me up to eight counters on that I gave it to them, played on knives, and with the second ability, we'll play I sacrificed it to deal two damage yeah. to them. Tap two. Got the last Blue. Counter. Very nice. Deep Root Pilgrimage. Um, go to combat. Yeah. Swing two, make more. I'm twenty one. That's okay. Let's play field this of ruin. This version of it was a secret letter. I'm gonna feed this one. That. Yep. Okay. So that's why it looks a little weird. Pass. Yeah. Yeah. I was feeling like there almost had to be feed this one there, otherwise yeah. it was going to be uh, a cat with a bunch of simple yeah. turn. Yeah. Like, you know, Probably not. Probably not. Heads in the clouds. We'll yeah. go. Yeah. yeah. Looks like that. Cavern souls on Murfolk. <laughs> And then we will play a. Press Alt Max for first main fight. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll go ahead and just play in the Hex Catcher. If you have the fail push, I have the fail push. You're going to use it anyways. I'm going to combat. I'll swing. It's going to be five. Go to 11. And then second main phase, I'll tap a green and play a Sentinel Tay Scout. Next four. Again? Deep Ruby. B. I love how much Have they... you played a game without playing that? He yes. almost <laughs> always has turn one scout, turn two pilgrimage against yeah. me. Almost every it, game. It has been very consistent today. Yeah. I normally actually don't get pilgrimage that often, okay. but I will say last week, of course, Cenote <laughs> Scout, last week, um, I went n like nine for nine in my first few games of having on turn one. Draw for turn. I take And then there was, there was a game against me yep. where, they, where he didn't. Yep, it, it was, yeah, against you. Well, no, they had the Benthics, I think. Yeah, yeah the Benthics are not just 
Well, the good news is I still have the mana to do this. Two mana. Deeper delete. You can't attack this turn. Um, it goes against my normal trains of thought, but we're going to do it anyways. We're going to go to combat. We'll swing one, three, six, uh, sorry, one, four, uh, seven, nine total. Destroy him and turn him into a 3-3 three, three green frog. Okay. I have a... It's not a green frog, but it is a... Where did it go? Dinosaur token. That was a 3-3. Three, three. Take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes. Go to yep. And then I'll pass her. Pass turn. Pass turn. If I had treasure, and I could describe because... Okay. My biggest worry was still a like, 16. I can't two. draw anything. That's kind of what I figured. And that's where <laughs> tax catcher. Like you literally yeah, just on fire. I, I drew I, shielded, shielded, shielded. Jeez, you got you saw six shielders in two games. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't you, do anything. You, you it's the fourth and fifth it's one. basically two mulligans though because I, know. I can't replay it. I know. I like I have to sit back and do nothing. You. That was worse than just getting your normal mana screw. Because well, you got the double also... Takanuma, you got so many Shieldreds, yeah. and then yeah, and then I, I'm not gonna lie, my starting hands those last two games were uh, oh, four mana stops, but everything else, and then the draws were absurd. I mean, you drew out of having nothing in game two, within the, two turns. That was mostly, I think, the the Smuggler's Copter helping out. Right. But, but you didn't hit... Ir irrelevant cards at oh, all no, that yeah. entire game. Uh, yeah. And that was like one of the one of the comments was I had ran Garrison out of cards completely. And he's playing Azorius Control. And he literally top decked like relevant card to draw cards to draw yeah. two answers. And the comment was like, well he ripped his entire hand apart. Of course he needs to top deck. That's like the only way for him to get back in it. And it's like sure he's playing a deck with twenty seven lands. Yeah. And he's not hitting the lands. Right. He's hitting all spells at that point. Right. And, like, and it's like, down there. <laughs> he's able to filter the lands out perfectly. And whatnot. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yep. It wasn't even that he had to filter. Six. He was just hitting all spells. So it's like, yeah, sure. He, like, he, of course, wants to hit spells. But right. Like, you have to, like, there is, there is never, like, negative variance when it's my opponent's. <laughs> and it's always yeah. negative variance when it's I my deck. Lose or I, I have an extra turn. Okay. Like, um, I think there was a game in round one I like where I drew 13 games. spells yeah, and you 15 know lands. And I'm not exaggerating. You, so you drew 15 yes. lands? Yeah. Right? yeah. So I don't know if it even would help because you invoke... It doesn't help, help against invoke, but it helps against like the... the um, path Apparels. Path Apparels, yeah. Just direct removal. Like, I, I have nothing draw. else. And the other thing is like, well... If I can at least draw a card every time you kill something, I'll be in an okay spot. But, but I never even drew a Shaper Sanctuary. Do this. So. Well, um, I don't know that Shaper Sanctuary is that great. I I see it in all the other Merfolk lists, yeah, it's, and it's it's sideboard, and it's just one of those things. I'm like, it's sideboard specifically for the decks that just are target removal. Yeah, like I can see it in theory working well, but I feel like I have enough ways to not target things. Um, yeah, your extinction uh, event, path of peril. Your deck was partly is in your deck than in Food Sport, but also partly in like the, the bottom black decks that I'll probably run into will likely probably be more direct removal, I think, yeah. because it's pretty powerful, the direct removal. Yeah. You just have been dealing with our bullshit evasion for long enough. <laughs> yeah. 